This video introduces a new functionality of Wayla Frontend which can be used to link two or three existing Wayla Times models. Um, it can also be used to split an existing Wayla Times model in which uh, size might be becoming a problem. So let us go through a full example of how this can be achieved. So I have used the newly released demo models for this purpose, uh, number four and five. So I have renamed number four as attached model B because that's a single reason model and attached model A is the um, number five. So this has two regions. Model A has two regions and model B has one region. And I'm assuming that model A is in has oil importing countries and model B has an oil exporting country. So as you will see the there are exogenous imports and exports of oil. So this is model uh, A. So there are imports, there's one import of oil. So we will try to convert this import this exogenous import into an endogenous one from model B and similarly the exogenous export in model B will be converted to this um, endogenous trade. Okay, so the way we do it is first of all we disable these exogenous ones through a scenario file. So in model A we create a scenario file that disables the exogenous import of oil. So, well, these files will also be accessible, so you can look at them. And what is and there are comments on each of the attributes. So basically, this little scenario file will disable the exogenous import of oil. And similarly, in model B, this scenario file will disable the exogenous export of oil. Okay. Then we need a third model which will establish the trade link between these two models. So it is very simple. It just has a simple trade declaration which will export oil from region 3 to region 1 and region 2. And the BY template just has oil as a commodity. That's it. Okay, so now after the setup, we will just uh, go through the declarations that are needed with our front end to create the link. Okay, so we launch the case manager in in the model that has the you know the, the link between the two models. So we launch the case manager and you see this expand window here. So this brings up this form which which will attach models. So we select attach model A from here, we add and we select it as model B and we add. So you see on the right hand side when you click on this model you see the cases that exist in this model and when you click on this one you see the cases that exist in that one. So uh, what I did not tell you is that before uh, we left the other two models we needed to create a case which includes this new scenario at the end. Okay so in attached model B, we have this the extra scenario file selected at the end. That's the case, and this is the case here. And these two should be selected for them to be included in the row. Okay, so after selecting this and everything else is fine, and I can just launch it on. And uh, the run is finished and if you go and see the results well I've already imported them from the previous one look at the x rays of oil so this has three runs uh, the individual runs of model A and model B and the link run so if you look at FN so that's the exports in region 3 then there was the x oil one in the individual run of model B and in the linked run, you see this TU oil res 3 to res 1. This is the endogenous 
tray. And similarly, in reg one, in the independent, the imp oil is operative in the um, model A, the distinct, the independent case, and this endogenous one in the linked run. So this basically uh, is how we would link models using this new functionality in the front end. Thanks for watching.